Question 25. Sarah's got a bag of cherries. There's the bag of cherries. It says she ate five cherries, then gave half of what she had left to Liam. Then Liam ate five of his cherries, then gave half of what he had left to Amy. Then Amy got two cherries. How many cherries did Sarah have in her bag at the start? Now, that's a bit of a mouthful. Okay, now you would expect this to be a bit harder than some of the other questions because it is question 25. It's the second last question on the paper. So we are dealing with a level five question. But with a little bit of clear thinking, we should be able to get some marks here. Now, I'm just going to scroll down because you don't really need to see the bag of cherries. We're more interested in the clues. Now, what we need to do is map this out using some sort of flow diagram, okay? So we started with a mystery number of cherries, which is what we don't know. So I'm going to call that a question mark. That question mark stands for the mystery number. And every time something happens, I'm going to draw a little arrow in my flow diagram, and I'm going to write on what's happened. So we start with a mystery number for Sarah. She ate five cherries. Now, if she ate five, that means... We are subtracting five cherries, so it's take away five. Then she gave away half of what she had left. So if she's giving away half, we then need to divide by two, because that's half. If you're halving something, you're dividing by two. So what we would have now would be Liam's amount. Liam then ate five of what he's got left. So we need another arrow, and he's eating five, so we need to subtract another five. Then he gave away half of what he had left. So if he's, giving, if he's losing half of his cherries, we're dividing by two again. So what we've got up to now is we've, we've lost Sarah's cherries, we've lost Liam's cherries, and what number we would be on now would be whatever Amy's got left. But it does actually tell us what Amy's got. So Amy's got two cherries. So two cherries pops out the other side there. So Amy's got two cherries. Okay, now all we have to do is we can reverse to get back to what we started with. By working in reverse, we've got to reverse each one of these arrows. So we're going to go backwards like this. When you work in reverse, you have to do the opposite of what is on the arrow. So the opposite of divide by 2 would be times 2. Okay. Opposite of take away 5 would be add 5. Opposite of divide 2 is times 2 again. And opposite of take away 5 is add 5 again. Now all we need to do is work this through backwards. Starting with this 2 here. So 2 times 2 is 4. And you can write at the end of the arrow is what we're on. So 2 2 is 4. 4 add 5 is 9, 9 times 2 is 18, and 18 add 5 is 23. So it looks as though Sarah started with 23 cherries. So that's the answer I need to write in my answer box. It's a good idea at this point just to double check that that works. And you can actually write on your little paragraph of writing at the start there. So if she started with 23 and she ate 5, should be on 18. If she then gave away half of what she had left to Liam, she'd be giving away 9. So she'd be giving away 9. So Liam would actually be starting with 9 cherries. Liam then ate 5. If he eats 5 of his 9 cherries, he's going to end up with 4 cherries left. And if he gives away half, well, half of 4 is 2, so he's giving 2 cherries to Amy giving two to her, that fits in with what it says at the end, that Amy's got two cherries. So it must be correct. Sarah must have started with 23 cherries.